a new progressive force in the landscape of Thai politics. Peter Lim Jaranrat has led his party to victory in the lower house of parliament. Now he says he's ready for the top job. People of Thailand have already spoken their wish and I, I am ready to be the prime minister for all, whether you agree with me or you disagree with me. The 42-year-old has built a large support base among young Thais, often from urban areas who are fed up with pro-military conservative leadership. He's already vowed to push ahead with a move to change the country's controversial royal defamation law, which can put people in jail for up to 15 years for anything deemed as an insult to Thailand's royal family. His other promises include promoting small businesses, curbing monopolies and ending military conscription. Move Forward has welfare policies, but Move Forward uh, is moves to a new frontier. It's no longer about populism. So actually, they have tapped into a lot of sentiments that have been feeling, I think, that Thailand needs to change. And that change has to do with the reform of the military, the monarchy, getting rid of the draft. Lim Jaranrat spent time in New Zealand as a teenager before studying in Bangkok and then at Harvard in the US. He's also a businessman and was only 25 when his father died, forcing him to return to Thailand to take over the family's struggling agriculture company. One of the younger candidates of Thailand's election, Lim Jaranrat is also popular on social media, often posting photos with his seven-year-old daughter. But in a country where military coups and court orders have often trumped the ballot box, his success in the election doesn't necessarily mean the road to prime minister will be a smooth one. He needs to gather enough votes in parliament to make up for military appointed Senate members. Support from the runner-up Pew Thai party is a strong start.